If you're working at ground level on a foundation or grade beam, placing concrete out of the chute is practical. If you're working above grade, pumping equipment is required. Placing the concrete with a pump is not difficult, but it helps to have some experience. If no one on the crew is experienced, it's a good idea to hire someone who is for the first couple of jobs. The wet concrete exerts a great deal of pressure on the bottom of the form. EcoBlock is designed to handle it, but you need to avoid doing things that will increase pressures to dangerous levels. The first step in controlling pressure is to work around the form in four-foot lifts. By the time the first lift is completed, the placed concrete has usually cured enough that the second lift does not cause a dangerous increase in pressure at the bottom of the wall. Instead, the pressure is now concentrated at the bottom of the second lift. Outside of lift, the force of falling concrete, excessive vibration, and water added to the mix can increase pressures by one and a half times or more. To control the pressure of falling concrete, use an S-bend on the boom and a two-inch line. When working from a chute, break the fall of the concrete with a shovel. Many builders forego the use of vibrators in favor of hand compaction with wood blocks or using a block mounted to the end of a reciprocating saw. They must remember to work only over the webs. When a vibrator is used with EcoBlock, the recommended size is three-quarters of an inch and never use a vibrator larger than one inch. If you need to add water to the concrete mix, check with the batch plant before proceeding. Because four-inch wall cavities fill so fast, the pressure on them will actually be higher than with thicker walls. When placing four-inch forms, remember to hold back on the concrete flow accordingly. Start placing the concrete by filling the area underneath the window bucks. After the window bucks are placed, move to one end of the wall, about four feet from the corner. Do not place directly into a corner. Instead, let the concrete flow into it. Once the concrete is at the desired level, move about two feet down the wall and bring that section up to be even with it. Continue down the wall, skipping over the bucks. Stop about four feet short of the next corner, again letting the concrete flow into it. Work the forms in a consistent direction. Don't skip around. Finish the first lift completely, then go on to the second. Keep one or two people on the ground consolidating concrete and watching for trouble areas. The concrete should be consolidated continuously as it is placed, working every foot down the wall with each lift. Check the string line at the top of the form, adjusting the wall alignment system turnbuckles to keep the forms perfectly plumb as you work. Immediately after placement, check the string line again and check your vertical alignment. Make any last adjustments before calling it a day. After the concrete has set for 24 hours, you can remove the straps from the bucks. The wall alignment system and bracing should remain in place according to your local building requirements.